I make ideas. We do it all the time, and so did those who changed history. What do I mean? Well, Webster's Dictionary defines an idea as any conception existing in the mind as a result of mental understanding, awareness, or activity. Though I have generated my own definition, recycling the information you already know to make it your own and show it to the world. Information are ideas made by the things and people around us. They fly at us all the time, sticking into our brains. And when we cultivate our favorite pieces of information, we get bits of them to be recycled into an idea. We instantly have the urge to let this free. But before that, you must plan. This is shaping the idea in your mind. And they're sketches, so they aren't exact. And once your idea and your plan converge, it might just be ready to be released into the world. At first, your idea will seem like a monster. Once you find it, it'll be quite easy to squash. You might not think it'll even survive. And if you believe that, it won't. These are what make up all the normal things we come up with. Then you might ask, how did all these larger ideas come up? Well, I have learned that if an idea is fed enough research, support, and faith, it can stand up to the world. Eventually, you'll encounter problems. These viruses are small, strong, and come at your idea constantly. And when they attack, your idea silently dies and gets shoved into your forgotten warehouse. Writers call this writer's block. This is when you believe the thing you just wrote is a piece of junk. I've tried writing about seven books, some up to 100 pages long, and have encountered writer's block on all of them. Though I believe this was supposed to happen because failures help you succeed. If you revisit your idea again, you'll rebuild it, maybe even rethink the whole entire thing. This is good because it's never good to settle. And as the cycle spins, you'll find that your idea will turn into a dream. Support plays an important role in this. My peers, school, and parents have encouraged me to enhance my skill. I strongly encourage all of you to support each other's dreams. This month, I am writing a 175-page novel through NaNoWriMo. And <laughs> and I'm going to seek an agent to publish it once I'm finished with it. So far, I've written about 50 pages over the course of three weeks. Some of you might be wondering, why in the world should I even pursue a dream? Well, as humans, we want to write our idea with a giant shari pen all over the world, and we want to spend our lives doing that. And by drawing our idea out with it, we'll bend the fabric of time and history, spawning other ideas made by those you inspired. This is what makes an idea live forever. Thank you very much.